Photoshop is all around us. I often find it in my kitchen on things like orange juice containers, on cereal boxes, and on these packages of crackers. Now, this is a really interesting package because on the back, the graphic designer used a really cool technique. He embedded an image inside the text. So we're going to take a look at how he created this image and give it a try ourselves. So this is the back of the Weekdens box, and we can see clearly that there are images inside the letters. Um, so this technique I use pretty frequently, and here's an example from John Lantigua from 2009. So how do we do this? First, we're going to want to open our blank image and then use the Move tool to drag in the image that we want to use. In this case, I'm going to use the New York City skyline, and I'm going to press Control t to drag it up so it fills the entire background. Next, in the Layers palette, I'm going to press New to create a new layer. And I'm going to switch to the Text tool. I'm going to use Impact. And because this is a big image, I'm going to have it at 130. And it's going to be black, but as you'll see in a moment, the color of the text really doesn't matter at all. So you're going to press check to confirm the text. And now this is the really critical step in this operation. You're going to want to hold control and then click on the T and the text layer in your layers palette. And when you do that, you'll see little ants running along the perimeter of your letters. That means that the text is highlighted, which is great. It's perfect. So now in the layers palette, you're going to want to click on the I to make the text invisible. I see that the outsides of the letters are still selected though, which is good. I'm going to switch to the image layer, layer one. And because I'm on that image, I can copy from it. I'm going to press control C and then control V. And we've got a new layer and we can't tell anything quite yet, but when we make the background layer, I'm sorry, the image layer disappear, all we're left is with the interior of the text. I'm going to go to layer, layer style, and I'm going to add, I'll add a drop shadow. You can experiment with it and you can add whatever layer styles you'd like. I'm going to press OK. And voila, that looks pretty good.